The Quran in 2187 instructs Muslims to fast from pre-dawn to sunset for at least a 30-day period within the Islamic month of fasting called Ramadan. However, as already explained in the last video, in relation to the five daily prayers, there are places on earth where these practices cannot be fulfilled according to the instructions found in the Quran or the Hadith. As an example, in the polar regions, there are six months of sunlight and six months of perpetual night during the summer and winter. So fasting is not practicable for anyone living in these regions where a phenomenon called the midnight sun means the sun never sets. To overcome the silence of a divine command on the issue, as will be seen shortly, various man-made rules have been contrived by Muslim scholars such as fasting according to Mecca time or according to the nearest Muslim country and other such arbitrary rulings. As Muslims are required to fast from pre-dawn to sunset according to the majority of the world's Muslims, the Quran or any of the Islamic literature is oblivious about another phenomenon called double sunset pictured here. It is an astrogeographical occurrence in which the sun appears to set twice in the same evening from a specific viewing point. As just evidenced, fasting and praying cannot be done on all parts of the earth according to the Quran or Hadith instructions, much less in outer space. For example, in 1985, Saudi Prince Sultan ibn Salman was the first Muslim to travel to space when he joined space shuttle discovery, a mission that coincided with some days of Ramadan. He was told by the then Mufti of Saudi Arabia that he was exempt from the fast but could make them up when he returned back to earth. The prince ignored the advice and went ahead anyway and fasted. Here is an article in Andalou Agency based in Turkey. The full link is in the description. As the Quran and Hadith are silent on how fasting should be done in such an environment, are between man-made rules are made up and sometimes these are followed and other times disregarded. In the Saudi Gazette it explains further with the headlines Seven Days in Space tells Prince Sultan's story of fasting praying in space. It goes on to say he fasted and prayed according to Florida times from space. The reason why Florida was chosen was because it was the place from where the shuttle took off from Earth. The full link is in the description. This issue was not a problem before, but as more Muslims are now flying into space, the question is being asked more, that is, how do Muslims pray and fast in space? In 2007, Malaysian astronaut Sheikh Shukal turned to the National Fatwa Council of Malaysia, who published a rule book called Guidelines for Performing Islamic Rites at the International Space Station. Within the guidelines, Shukal was given the option to defer his fasting until his return to Earth, or he could follow the sunrise and sunset times of Baikonur, Kazakhstan, where Shukal was launched into space. Fasting was not the only issue for Shukal, it affects prayers too. The full article is in the description. For example, it says in the article by Al Jazeera dated 10th of October 2007, titled Malaysian Astronaut Enters Space, Country's First Astronaut Will Observe Ramadan Fasting Rules During Mission. It goes on to say that as a Muslim, he will face unusual problems observing Ramadan fasts. At the speed the space station travels, orbiting the Earth 16 times every 24 hours, Sheikh Musava would have been obliged to pray more than 80 times a day. To overcome that problem, Malaysia's Department of Islamic Development drafted a set of guidelines on how to perform religious rites in space. The guidelines allow the astronaut to pray only five times a day and that the time should follow the location 
of the spacecraft's launch. Malaysian clerics have also clarified rules on the direction for prayers, which must usually face the direction of Mecca, a difficult position to maintain in zero gravity. There are problems back on Earth. Due to the Earth's axis points, either towards the Sun or away from the Sun, in that as the orientation changes throughout the year, so does the distribution of sunlight on Earth's surface at any given latitude. Muslims fasting in the Northern Hemisphere can fast in excess of 20 hours a day, especially those who live within the Arctic Circle. Conversely, anyone further south of the equator, fasting times are very short in comparison, as little as 10 hours or less in places. In the Middle East, or for those on or near the equator, fasting remains on average of 14 or 15 hours a day. The Quran and its associated literature do not address nor seem to know about these discrepancies. Here is a map showing the average fast times, depending on where a person lives in the world. Notice how the fasts become longer the further north a person lives, and shorter the further south a person lives, whereas in the middle or around the equator, the fasting times are of a median between the two areas. Here is a brief comparison of fasting times that occurred last year, 2021. As an example, three cities will be looked at. One in the north, this is Aberdeen in the UK. Notice this is allowing leeway because Aberdeen is not even an example of a city that is the most northern or even as Muslim populated, say, such as Oslo, where the comparison will be even more stark. At any rate, in Aberdeen, the first fast was on 13th of April, which began at 3.09 a.m. and ended at 7.58 p.m. For the same day in Mecca, Fasting started two hours later and finished 45 minutes earlier than Aberdeen, with it beginning at 5.04 a.m. and ending at 7.15 p.m., which means the Muslims in Aberdeen had to keep fasts much longer than their Meccan counterparts. In Buenos Aires, Argentina, it is even shorter than Mecca, with a fast beginning at 5.52 a.m. and ending at 6.34 p.m. If cities such as Auckland, New Zealand or Melbourne, Australia were cited, the Muslims there would be fasting even less than in Buenos Aires. Nonetheless, what this means is that the Muslims in Buenos Aires have nearly four hours of less fasting compared to those Muslims in Aberdeen. This does not seem fair or an injunction from an all-knowing wise creator God. Due to the problems of fasting in some regions, scholars, not Allah or Muhammad, have come up with the solution of either fasting according to Meccan time or according to the times of their closest Muslim country or community. For example, it says in Vox, Ramadan 2021, nine questions about the Muslim holy month you are too embarrassed to ask. It was written in relation to Northern European countries where the average fast is 20 hours a day, or places where the sun never sets or rises for long periods. Here, underlined in red, it goes on to say, quote, In these cases, Muslim religious authorities have decreed that Muslims can either fast along with the closest Muslim country or fast along with Mecca, Saudi Arabia, end quote. The full link is in the description. In the Atlantic, Maria Hanun, provides cases and details how the religious authorities' solution to the 20-hour-long fasts or when the sun never sets, mentioning how some fast according to Mecca and others fast according to the closest Muslim country. Again, the full article is in the description. So in conclusion, as a result of the Quranic rulings of fast till nightfall, Huge discrepancies have been created depending where Muslims are living at the time 
and in other places due to astronomical anomalies such as the midnight sun or double sunset man-made rules in the form of scholars are required because allah and his prophet did not clarify them as seen in the previous video these affects prayer times also fasting and also praying in space is not possible according to the so-called divine revelations and prophetic commands so various man-made arbitrary rules are made up sometimes they are followed and other times they are ignored curiously the quran and hadith are silent on the issue the earth is made the center of the universe when it comes to prayers and fasts but as mankind travels out further into space and explores other planets in the future allah and muhammad had not provided any such guidance on how to pray and keep fasts in such environments even on earth there are places within the arctic circle inhabited by muslims some of whom have to fast in excess of 20 hours a day for 30 days due to the impracticalities of this some have resorted to following advice from scholars to say they can fast according to meccan times or according to the closest muslim country or community depending where muslims happen to live they could end up fasting for disproportionately longer periods than their counterparts in the middle east conversely for those in the southern hemispheres it is much shorter fast compared to anyone else this is obviously unfair there is no parity and equity for muslims it just depends on where they live at the time it's almost as though allah is playing postcode lottery with those in the northern hemisphere being hugely disadvantaged and for those in the southern hemisphere hugely advantaged and parity for those in the middle east for whom it seems that allah and muhammad had made mecca the center of not just earth but of the universe for all divine commands Thank you.